I'm Carson Lewis, a uh, poultry farmer in Round Hill, Annapolis County. Uh, me and my wife, Valerie, uh, we grow uh, broilers for ACA Co-op. The birds that you're seeing right now are uh, just seven days old. Uh, the heating system in this barn is all in-floor heating, in-floor radiant heating with uh, pipes that goes through the concrete of the floor. In, uh, in about 2002 we had a hard winter and uh, my oil consumption went right through the roof. The, uh, the, the cost of heating the barns throughout uh, the winter and the year was, uh, w w became too much. Uh, so I started looking at different ways of heating my barns uh, to cut down costs. Uh, so I put in uh, wood furnaces, outdoor wood furnaces. I was consuming 130 to 150 quart of wood a year. About seven to eight years, eight years, uh, the wood furnaces uh, basically burn out. Uh, we, we looked, so at that time I knew I couldn't afford to go back to oil. Uh, I went up to London, Ontario to uh, meet a gentleman up there that put uh, uh, heat, uh, ground source heat pumps in his barns. Uh, I used oil in the time frame from when I decommissioned my wood furnaces to I brought the technology down and installed it in the geothermal technology down and still installed it into my barns. The, uh, the, ground, the ground loop field is uh, down over the hill there. There's uh, 18 trenches. Uh, f they was uh, 600 feet long. They were five feet deep and, f and five feet wide. Uh, the one inch uh, PEX pipe that was uh, buried in the lines or in the, in the trenches go down one side of the trench, loops back and comes back up to the barn. Uh, as the, uh, the warm water from the ground circulates through to the uh, heat pumps, uh, we have a, uh, the, the three heat pumps are stacked. The warm water circulates through the heat exchangers and the temperature then is extracted into my ground loop or my floor loops which uh, these 220 gallon storage tanks uh, holds the water. Then when the computer ventilation system calls for heat, the circulator pumps will take this uh, 40 degree water and put it into the floor of the barn. The funding on the system was uh, about 50% funding. I'm very uh, optimistic on the uh, return on investment for the system. Uh, it appears to be very low maintenance. Uh, there's no annual servicing to be required. Uh, if when things all turn out, if I can save 60% on my energy costs, uh, you know, I'm looking at uh, you know, less than a five year payback for the system. So with, with any luck, that'll be, be all of that.